All right, so Go High Level just released a massive update to the Workflow Builder. I'm gonna show you the two main updates and then I'll walk you through some of the visual changes as well. So the first one here is they've now fully integrated creating workflows using simple chat. So for example, here's an actual workflow that I would create if I was building a snapshot or something for a business. And you can see it's gonna build this out completely just based off of my prompt. So I'm gonna say write 10 SMS and 10 email messages. I'll just do five actually so it doesn't take as long. And then I'm gonna do for a plumbing business, the customer inquired about a free plumbing quote. And then I'm gonna say, do it as follows. So you can see here, I'm not prompting it perfectly. So you guys can see how simple this actually is. So I'm gonna do SMS one, email one, wait two days or three days, SMS two, email two, wait uh, three days again. And then we can literally just click on enter and it's gonna start generating this workflow. So if you just saw some of my other videos, you'll see kind of this theme throughout their updates where they're allowing the AI to be a part of the Go High Level ecosystem and workflows is obviously a big one here. Now, what's cool about this as well is that it actually will write out the content and write out the email, write out the subject line. You are going to need to actually go through and make it better if you need, you know, if you need the content to be updated. But the main thing is it actually builds out the entire workflow, which sometimes is what stops, I know, me from building certain workflows it's like oh, i don't want to go and click all these buttons like i know exactly what to do but i just don't want to have to do it so here it's going to add in five texts five emails and then it's going to build out all the wait periods and stuff like that and then basically i can just go in there and you know change any of the content that i need but it also will do all of the uh, content here so you can see it so it even created the trigger, which I didn't ask for, but we can see here free plumbing quote inquiry submitted. So this is just based on a form being submitted. So you would need to hook that up obviously, but if you have a form created or anything like that, you could probably just say, hey, use my contact us form and it'll link all that. Here you can see everything's nice and clean and it's done, literally it's done. So I'll show you a few of them just so you can see. So here's the first text. It pulls in all of the you know uh, custom fields inside of high level so you don't have to map any of those. And then it also will do the emails as well, okay? And if you type out like the from name and the from email and stuff like that in your initial prompt, it'll add this stuff in, I'm guessing. Um, that way you don't have to do that either, but you can see this just did, you know, 90% of the work right there. So that's the first huge update that they did to the workflow builder is you could just chat with it and then, um, you know, have it add in the workflow. Okay. So here you can see our thread of like what I sent as the initial prompt and then the summary. And then I'm guessing I can say add two more SMS and two more emails at the end. And I'm thinking I can just do this right at the end of the, you know, inside of the workflow. And then it'll just start building it right here inside of the workflow. So just like that, it added in the sixth reminder text, follow up email, and then another text and another email. Okay. So you would want to prompt this. You could see it says this is your seventh and final reminder. So you probably don't want to say that, but you can see the function of it completing the entire workflow is already there. And we can, like I said, prompt it so that it's not going to produce outputs like that, but it creates the workflow. Okay. 
So that's the first main update that they did. The second main update is they created a advanced builder. So this is the standard builder, right? Which is just kind of vertical right here and you can zoom in and zoom out. And then they also have the advanced builder. Okay, so now we can kind of see everything visually this way if we wanna do it that way. And then if I wanna add in you know, a step or like a node right here, I can just click on the plus and then add anything that I want here. And then if I need to just add something without it being in this workflow, maybe I don't know where it's gonna go yet, I can click add, add action, and then add any other additional action inside of the high level platform. So that's the second main update. And then the third main update is they changed some of the, uh, the UI here of the app. So we can see here, this is just a different look. So it's a lot cleaner. Um, and they did add some actions as well, but I just wanted to show you guys the look actually is different here now. And I'm gonna be covering um, this one here on one of my next videos. So you guys are gonna see how they added the flow builder for the chat bot inside of high level. So I'll be covering that next here. So that is the updates to the workflow builder. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one. As always, if you need a 30 day trial and want to learn the high level platform for your business or to help serve other businesses, you can click the link down below and partner with me, get an extended 30 day trial. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.